So this is the, uh, the box that Pixie comes in and it has these two little color swatches in to make a, uh, a color code. And that's all a color code really is, is a uh, just couple pieces of color, you know, bumped up against each other. And uh, Pixie will actually uh, identify them as, you know, one object and you can mix them and create different objects. So let's go ahead and get a good amount of lighting and then I'm going to clear all the signatures and we'll start over. And um, again, you can see, try to find a good lighting and then and reach in and uh, go into the action menu and select set CC signature one and select the green swatch. And then do it again for the second signature, set CC signature two. And you notice that um, I'm not um, I'm not using the uh, teach the button teach mode. I'm using uh, th through the Pixiemon GUI. Um, teaching color codes is probably easier that way. Um, so um, that's the way we do it. Um, instead of using like a fancy button press scheme, uh, we just do it through the GUI. Um, so as you can see, it's it's found the color code and it's uh, tracking it. One cool thing about color codes is that um, you get the angle, so you can see this little uh, this little theta here, um, or maybe it's phi. I forget which uh, Greek letter that is. It's uh, equal to the angle, and as I rotate this, um, it tells us what the angle is, and so it's kind of a neat freebie. Um, and that's pretty much that. Um, another cool thing uh, you can do with color codes is let's say you had like some Legos. Um, these, these work pretty well as color codes. Um, so again, let's just do this real quick. Um, we'll uh, select signature one, two, and three. And you can see we've created a color code with uh, three different colors. And um, let's go ahead and adjust some of these because um, it seems like we're getting some. Uh, so that's pretty good. OK. So the cool thing is with Legos. So here we have uh, uh, a signature called 123. I could rearrange it. And um, it's uh, 213 now, or just 13, or 12, and then I can add to it. Here's, a, here's 213, and then I can add another one, 1213, and then I could add another one. 31213. And we can keep on doing that up and so this is a color code with five color codes. And um, you know, the cool thing about color codes is you know you can mix them up and create lots of different combinations and uh it tracks the color. And um one interesting thing is that um let's say let's say we have this one, um 213. Um, is that different than 312? I mean, the, do we, when we flip it over, does it change? It doesn't, doesn't change. It's, it's actually, there's an ambiguity there. Um, and it's picking the color code that is the smallest in number. So it could be 312 or 213. So it actually picks 213 so that when we flip it over, the color code number doesn't change. But the angle does. So that's pretty cool. I mean, it, so color code is working pretty well in uh, this new release. Um, I'm really interested in, you know, we're all interested to see what uh, you guys do with it.